Hey guys, you're here. You're here at Rockwood Products in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Come on in and take a tour. Hi, I'm Rick from Rockwood. I do all the, mostly all the wood products here. These are the plywood floors we uh, make a lot of. Uh, the plywood is 15 millimeter uh, waterproof blue birch veneer plywood. I think there must be six, seven different patterns of different trucks we do. We do Peterbilt, some Kenworths. This is one type of veneer we use on the floor. This is uh, Kiwa Zynga. Um, we also do many, many different types of veneers, uh, different species, uh, the sky's the limit, whatever your imagination wants for the what you would like on your floor or the different wood products that we do make. This veneer is, comes in a raw form, so it needs to be softened with a chemical. Then I'll, I'll bookend the, the veneer to match it with a seam, sew it, and tape it on the back. This is the Virgin uh, Kiwazinga. Uh, this, the seams are very tight. You shouldn't have any gaps in it at all. We also put a piece of veneer, generally a mahogany, on the back side so you balance out the moisture in the plywood when it glues and that'll keep the plywood uh, straight. Then after pressing, the veneer gets sanded both sides and we apply 12 coats of polyester finish to it and that puts a built coat over the veneer, fills in all the voids, so when we urethane it, you got a perfect Class A automotive finish. It's first really barrier coated because the Kiwazinga has a uh, oily finish in the uh, wood. It's a natural oil, so you need to put a barrier on it. Then the 12 coats of polyester gets sanded down to a 400 finish and uh, then urethane with an automotive type urethane with UV resistance in it. After sanding the polyester, we put it back in the spray booth for another four coats of automotive urethane with the UV resistance in it. And that'll give it the class A finish. Then it goes after a week of drying, it will go to our uh, wet sanding buffing guy. He'll wet sand it and buff it down to a mirror finish. After the floor has been urethane, wet sanded and buffed, then it gets shipped to the customer. All the floors will be uh, tissue papered first, and then we put the, the foam wrap over it. In the crate, you'll get the two pieces of floor, the center divider stick, complete parts kit for all the parts that you should need to do the floor. You get instructions and a DVD demo tape on how to install it. Okay, we highly recommend also uh, to purchase the hush mat. It takes the vibration out of the floor and also takes out uh, for heat and, or the cold in the winter. Then you will always get this hush mat is optional, but you will always get the foam. It's also a hush mat product and it is a, a sound absorber and sound deadening product. All our flooring, all our other wood products are all made here in the United States. What we're looking at here, in order to make a finish that is an automotive class A finish, a totally filled glass-like look like you see here, it takes meticulous sanding and attention to detail. And what Scotty is going to do here is just going to show us the detail work that goes into getting a totally filled, smooth finish like you see in this part here. Boy, it's got to give us a little... What he's doing is he's taking the high spots off the polyester sealer 
and getting it to that flat level, smooth plane, no high spots. He's basically knocking the dirt, the high spots out and getting it as smooth as glass. Most all of our products are totally encapsulated in finish. It's not just the front portion, what you see, that's coated, but it's the entire product. And we do that so it stays nice and stable and lasts the life of the truck, or maybe twice the life of the truck. What you're seeing here is the uh, state-of-the-art CNC engraving machines performing uh, or engraving a special custom plate. Basically, all of the identification on the plate or the detail is being done by a diamond cutter that is microscopic in size. It will do and perform thousands of movements per part. All of this is done on products that are stamped out and made here in the United States, prepped here at Rockwood in Manitowoc, Wisconsin and engraved. What you're seeing here is Ann's actually offloading the pieces after they're done and then she's going to shortly put on some acrylic adhesive that uh, will uh, be supplied on the part so it can be stuck onto the dashboard of the truck. My name is Phil Grossish. I'm a proud employee of Rockwood Products located here in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Uh, my primary job duties are to program and operate our computer numerically controlled machine, aka CNC machine. Today we're in the process of machining our billet aluminum armrests. We use an American made 6061T6 bar stock aluminum. It's a very good, very durable. We'll be flying off the top of the aluminum, give us a nice linear surface, drilling and tapping our mounting holes, drilling and tapping our holes that we'll use in a later process on our fixture, and then diamond dragging our identification number on it. Hi, I'm Debbie. I've been with Rockwood now for 11 years. Uh, my job here is to answer the phone, take customer orders, put the orders into the system, sometimes help pack the orders. If customers call, have questions about the products, uh, I can usually answer their questions. Also, if they have any questions, like if we can do any special items, a lot of times we can do something. If it's not a regular part, we can do the special engraving to customize it for them. Um, I enjoy talking to my customers. When they call, I know some of the customers from by their voice and everything. Um, I've actually had the opportunity to visit some of my customers. Uh, my husband and I have taken a few motorcycle trips out on the road. This past summer we stopped to visit four different customers when we, we took Route 66 out of Chicago, made it all the way to New Mexico. I visited four customers along the way. Um, I love meeting my customers, they're like family. Um, enjoy working here at Rockwood. We had uh, four mentioned some of the capabilities of our CNC machine, and this is uh, one of our best examples. Each one of these single parts came to us as, as a block, a block of rosewood, block of 6061 aluminum, block of rosewood and we were able to take all these parts put them on our machine and we machined them everything everything was done by us except for like the, the steel tubing and even the engraving on this plate was done by us um, inside it's not only pretty on the outside but on the inside we have state-of-the-art LED lights but it is it's a very powerful light on top of this we'll have a half inch piece of acrylic that'll come up and it'll have uh, the various uh, trucking event that is going on for that particular show. And winners of the show get to, get to carry this fine American product around. Hi, 
my name is Jason. I'm the metal finisher at, at Rockwood Products. I take something like this that comes off our CNC machine and ultimately we try to turn it into from here to our finished product that goes out for chromate. element here is taking out all the machine marks that the CNC machine makes, making sure it's nice and smooth so when the driver, this is a driver assist handle, so when they grab hold of it he wants to know, wants to feel completely smooth product. Ultimately it's going to be chrome so it's going to be, have to look perfect, like a perfect jewel. We are down in our shipping area and packaging area. As you can see, the uh, product has been inspected by each of the people basically that work here. Everybody has uh, the opportunity to look at the product and inspect it after they're done, uh, even prior to being finished with the part. But Sherry's doing the final inspection to make certain that everything is put together properly and looks just like that uh, perfect piece that our customers are expecting from us. All of our wood and uh, chrome uh, trim gets packaged with the same care. And most of the time we use a uh, tissue, crystal tissue, which is a very soft tissue uh, between the wood and the next layer of protection, which is white foam that is underneath tissue that Sherry's working with. 